actually hanging in my window. But let's see if I can if I can do this. So the topic is how I use Figma or TL Draw or a, or a drawing tool to lay out and come up with um, the storyboard or what I'm trying to create. All right, let's talk about visualizing success. For me, I need to visualize what the scenario I'm about to enter will be like so that if I leave and come back to it later, like the next day, I can I can look down on my work or like, you know, some imagery of my, my work to see what I was thinking in the past. It helps me visualize in my mind um, what others will see as well. I do this in a lot of cases, you know, if it's just what my desk should look like while I'm filming my computer, something like that, where I wanna know which two windows I'm gonna need up, what needs to be on deck, and if I need my phone sitting somewhere else with like notes. Visualizing how something is going to be when you get there is a practice that athletes use as well. They will visualize what it feels like to dive into the end zone and catch the football. And they'll, they'll rehearse this in practice, but then they visualize it in their mind. I kind of need it on paper to remind myself what it's going to look like and what it ought to be like. And I need to remove all the distractions around myself as well. So I'll like clear off my desk entirely and just have those things. And when I draw the photo of what that should look like, when I get there, I should clean my desk the same way and I should be set up that way. That helps me just really ground my mind. So let's jump into these drawing tools. I don't know which one we're gonna use yet. Maybe it's Figma, maybe it's both. Figma could be helpful where if I build a component library for myself later, but TL Draw is just faster for me to just start drawing really quickly. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you just how I would go through this process for myself. <laughs> For me, the visualizing process even starts on napkins. I will just draw it on a, on a note card. Usually I go through a couple of note cards. On my desk, I'll keep a ton of note cards. And as I just draw one concept at a time, I'll just kind of work on it and try to isolate it down uh, as a single single concept or a single, single note or a single visual that I'm gonna need. And if I'm happy with it, I'll, I might even get scissors and cut it out and isolate it and set it, set it aside or I might uh, just continually work on it and improve it and then throw away previous versions of it. I hope to use a Figma library like this so that later I can just drag and drop and start building a timeline. Using auto layout would be helpful for me. Being able to stretch these components will be helpful for myself so that I can kind of imagine time and I won't get stuck in the work on iMovie where the visuals aren't as easy. I'm not able to zoom out as well as I am in a tool like Figma and visualize time or visualize adding an element on top of it. Maybe it's an overlay or it's um, music volume and this kind of thing. I really just like being stuck too deep inside the work where I'm scrubbing back and forth. I don't have a full picture if, if I'm working on even the right piece. To me, a greener container is more beneficial. To me, having more to look at and seeing the whole thing at once can be really helpful. Uh, a tool like Figma, I'm able to draw out the timeline, kind of imagine it just how it is, but you know, and then also maybe put supporting graphics on top or, or notes all around it for myself. And I can see 
with a better picture and just more cadence across it. When you have a visual map as well, it's, it's something you can share as an artifact for others and they can point to the right side or the left side and say, this side is weak or, or let's, let's punch this up or, or the tail end kind of, kind of you know, uh, comes to a pathetic little end. Maybe we need to you know, bolster that and it helps them be grounded as well. Essentially, the whole point of a, a visual map is so that everyone can agree on where things are. That might sound cliche, but everyone truly does visualize things differently than everyone else. And yet they all think they're visualizing it the same way. This is all about communication. And so drawing something out and holding it in front of people, they can agree on what it is. I plan to use this in the future for all my other videos and having a, having a resource um, or an asset you know, page where I can come to and kind of bring together and build a video in my mind and fill in the blanks and you know, point the, the highlights and the, you know, the, some action and what's a, what's a time lapse and what isn't, putting it together just, just so I have a way to ground myself when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm trying to take an idea that was really small in my mind and I can uh, have all these tools to kind of bolster it up and visualize it for myself and maybe others if I need help with something. After going through this process, I think I'm just gonna forego using Figma. It's too heavy, it's too specific. When TL Draw works just as good and I can be pretty loose with it and if I lose some of the work, I can build it again in like 30 seconds. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with TL Draw. Okay, something I'm realizing while I'm sitting here is that I could also use the same concept to show you that I might lay out a thumbnail uh, for this video with a tool like this pretty loosely just to get a sense of the spacing and what I'm trying to communicate with that uh, small thumbnail. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, reach out to me on Twitter or here and make something cool.